must feel good to see it clicking the way that it did today. Yeah, I mean, it's always good to, when you put a product in and, you know, you see the results of the product. Um, you know, it's always, um, you know, encouraging to see that, you know, what you're trying to do is working. And uh, But we got to continue to get better at it and continue to move the ball and, you know, guys taking shots with confidence and making shots with confidence. And, um, you know, I think our defense really set up a lot of our offense tonight as well. You got DeMar out there um, making the reads that he did, eight assists, the bigs passing the way they've been for the last few games, really. How much pressure does that take off of you and the other Two point well, it takes a lot of pressure off me, and you know, sometimes I can go sit there and, and stand still, and make shoot some shots, yeah. and make some shots. Yeah. But um, you know, Demar has always been a, a creative basketball player and a great passer. Um, you know, we're just putting him in situations where um, he'll be getting more attention and making a better pass, and the space in the wolf for him to get to the paint to do his thing, also, and, and to make plays is you know going to be important for us. What did you see from OG tonight? He played hard. He's had a great uh, practice the last couple of days, and um, you know, I expected the things he did tonight to, uh, well, the things he did in practice to translate tonight, and um, they did. So uh, just encouraging to see him out there playing as hard as he's playing. It's also encouraging to see that second unit kind of extend the lead. Yeah, I mean, that's what we need from them. You know, we need those young guys to be a part of our offense, our, a part of our team. Um, they're a huge part of what we're trying to do, and uh, we, we need those guys to extend leads, get leads back, um, you know, fight us to get us even, you know, we're going to need them big time. You guys were in control for the whole game, virtually, yeah, 30 points, first three quarters. Was, was pushing the pace something that you guys were focused on and not letting up? Well, I think our offense in general was just kind of pass and move, push the pace, get out and run. Um, you know, we shot the ball extremely well tonight, but our defense, you know, started everything. When you got a defensive effort like we had tonight, um, you know, it makes things a lot easier to, on the offensive end. Coaching staff has been raving about JV and the job mm -hmm. he's doing here in mm -hmm. camp. Is there something specific that you're seeing from him? Maybe that just different or that he's doing better. I think he's just. I think he's just playing. I think he's just figuring it out, getting to the right spots. Um, you know, being more um, agile. Uh, just being more communicative uh, and talking on offense and defense and getting to his spots a lot quicker. How often this league has gone through a lot of camps, like all star gold, all star games, like sponsors on the jersey. Like the pre as a regular season's ten days earlier, how comfortable are you guys for these um, changes? I mean, it's, it ain't gonna be done. We gotta still play basketball. All the things you said, you know, that's not for you know, that's for you know the league in general, which is great for the league. But for us as basketball players in here, we're we're always excited to go out there, play basketball, do our jobs, and, and compete. Does it ever concern you guys that the league will be totally different than the traditional league? Nah, I think it's we just go with it because our league is the best league there is. Uh, JV, do you just think do you maybe be more instinctual, not think, not not reacting like as slowly. As I think having I think having the ball in his hands a lot more and up top and being able to dribble, pass, make plays is is making him more confident in what his abilities are and um, expanding his abilities, knowing that he has to make plays for us.